GMS Tampa Bay. We want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Kodash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, and much blessing and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth who are dil diligently pushing out his truth and his truth and sincerity. And shalom on to the sisters as well who are learning and quietness and meanness. All right, you know, brother, go ahead. All right, so, you know, uh, we spare the Yahweh Shai, you know, as a Lord's was going to flow through us so we can edify the whole elect out there. And, um, you know, we're gonna want, we want to go into something, you know, that's a... Uh, very important in this truth, man. That you know, pretty much of of getting building up, you know, and gathering what's important, such as the knowledge was been understanding. Okay. So go ahead and read that, and then come. Go ahead. This is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter six and verse nineteen. <clears throat> it says, "Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, mm -hmm. where moth and rust doth corrupt." Kind okay, of because of the, ultimately these carnal riches, these carnal things that you see. Before you, they're all going to be burned up. All right, Mal Malachi chapter 4 and 1 tells you that. All right, uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 tells you that. That all these things are going to be destroyed. All right, uh, the elements, they're going to melt with fervent heat. All right, neither root nor branch is going to be left. Go ahead. Um, and where thieves break through and steal. Yeah, so yeah, you can you can, you can have uh, $10,000 in your, in your mattress... A nigga might come in there and take that from you, man. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. Yeah, so lay up your treasures in heaven. And what are those treasures that you're supposed to be laying up? What are those treasures that you're supposed to be trying to get? Well, we're going to get into that in this video, Lord's will. All right, go ahead. Come okay, Real quick, I want to get... Um the word there <clears throat> see just what it means you know through the spirit um hey, because these 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 carnal treasures are right, the treasures that you, you can uh, accumulate on this earth man ultimately that doesn't compare to the treasures that that you can uh, uh get in the heavens and, and scripture's gonna say it you know that's why you can't you can't that's why the lord told you to forsake all man and you're gonna receive a hundredfold go ahead uh yeah, I was gonna get the word there for lay up, but it's self-explanatory. Okay, okay. Uh so um verse twenty again, but lay up and real quick, just to speak on what the brother was just saying about the um the treasures of this world, man. The the, the things of this world are are vain, alright? Like like it's spoken of in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, alright? Solomon said this. Alright, the things of this world is is it, it's all vanity. All right, it, it, it's meaningless. Yeah, because uh, uh, King Solomon, he had everything. He had everything. He still said vanity, vanity, all, all is vanity, man. Mm -hmm. yep. But why did he receive all those things? Because what the first things he asked for? <laughs> we'll, we'll get that, but mm -hmm. you know, go ahead. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Because can't nobody take up, take take this spirit from you, man. Not the no, yeah, kind of exactly. Except the heavenly Father, not one single person on this planet Earth can come up to you and take the spirit from you, man. All right, that's why the scriptures say, "Fear not, fear not, man who can kill the body and not the spirit, man." All right, nobody on this planet Earth can can take the spirit from you, man. And I'm not talking about the spirit that is keeping you alive. I'm talking about the spirit of truth, man. All right, this 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 knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. This is something that 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 cannot. Be taken away, man. This is this is a, a highly precious treasure, man. And only one person can uh, take it away because the, it, the Lord was the one who created it. Yeah, he, there's only one person that gave it to you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, you can only take something back if you yep. gave it originally. Yep. You know exactly. Yep. Verse 21: For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Yeah, right. where your treasure is, there will your heart be. Where your mind says going to be at, man. So if you, your treasure's here on earth and on the worldly things, then that's where your heart's going to be at, man. That's where your 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 whole body, your mind, body, and soul is going to be at, so to say, you know. That's where you're going to be putting your effort towards, man. All right? Yep. Exactly, man. You know, you get you get Jake, who who's in this world, you know, and Jake will want to be about, you know, his family, his woman, his kids, and whatnot, man. But the scripture says to forsake all, man. 
Forsake what? Forsake the things that we have on this earth, man. And we're not telling you to be a dirtbag and a deadbeat. We yeah. need to realize what's more important, man. What's the most important thing that we've been called to do? Mm -hmm. Yep. Can I sit on that? Um, you got yeah, that was one. Okay. Yeah, uh, do you want to get a word out of there? No, no, no. I was just uh, who got that wisdom? I got you. Go ahead. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 5. It says, For she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of the Most High, and a lover, and, yeah, and a lover of His good works. Mm -hmm. It says, okay. "If riches be a possession, if riches be a possession, all right. So, what is a treasure? When you get a treasure, you get your, you get riches, man. When they looking for the treasure of gold, your X marks the spot, all that. All right. When you find a treasure, those that, that those are riches. Okay. Go ahead. Read uh, that from the sixth verse again. Kind of verse, uh, slot, verse five. It says, "If riches be a possession." To be desired in this life. Yep. What is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? What is richer than wisdom? What is better treasure than wisdom? All right. What's what is what can you get on this earth that is greater than wisdom? All right. And really, that that's going to towards your spiritual bank and you're in the heavens, man. That wisdom, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right. Because we understand that we need money to live in this society. We ain't telling you that go be a bum. All right. This is uh, Ecclesiastes. Uh, 7 and 12 For wisdom is a defense And money is a defense But the excellency of knowledge is That wisdom giveth life To them that have it You understand that? Right, yes, we understand money is a defense But wisdom giveth life To them that have it, man Go ahead and read that again God, God. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8 Cause, verse cause, six. Wait, because the riches of this world Is money, alright so, so let's go back because it said wisdom is defense and money is defense. Go ahead. Uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter eight verse five. It says, "If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things?" Yeah, what is what is richer? What's more precious than wisdom? All right, what what is what can you obtain in this world that's going to be more important than wisdom? What did uh, uh, King Solomon ask for? He asked for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to, to lead his people, right? Yeah. To judge his people. And what did the Lord give him? He gave him the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and then he gave him everything else with it, man, because he asked first and foremost for those spiritual things, man. All right, for the wisdom. Okay, that was, that was it on that. Can I, can I got um, go ahead. Uh, this is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6. I'm going to start at verse. Oh, yeah. That's spirit. Got, all right, verse, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse uh, 17. It says, charge them that are rich in this world. Well, well real quick, uh, we'll we'll go, up. go up to, um, I believe it's, uh, go up to verse 9. Con, con, uh, where's, uh, where's my Solomon? 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and they snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Yeah, because what? Because the scripture tell you that the love, the root of all evil is the love of money. Even though it's a, it's a defense, but if you love it, hey, here it is. Now you're going to fall into all these different temptations, to keep fall into all this evil. Go ahead. God, and, you wanna, and because you want to you wanna establish yourself, like the brother said, wisdom is a defense, money is a defense. But you want to establish yourself, like Jake want to establish himself with 401k and pension. And his mind is not on the Lord, so he would do anything he can to, to uh, maintain that, that money, man. Yeah, exactly. Because to be successful in this world, you have to give over to the powers that be. And the powers that be of this world is wickedness. Yeah. You know, you give yourself over to let inside to gain riches, you know. And that's why, you know, scriptures say riches popping not in the day of wrath, mm -hmm. you know, because these riches are gotten by deceit. Mm -hmm. You know, scriptures say uh, because of unrighteous dealings mm -hmm. and riches gone by deceit, the mm -hmm. kingdom is translated from one people to another. That's right. And that's good. It's cold, man, because of the, what you said, man, that riches profit not in the day uh, of wrath. But what riches do? We just read it in, in Wisdom 8, man. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 8. Now, uh, Isaiah 6, what is that? Isaiah 55 and 6. Now, Isaiah 6, Isaiah 6, Isaiah 6, Isaiah 6, Isaiah 6, You know, so what? The, 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 you know, the, bit, the best riches is this wisdom, man. So, uh, read to 12. Yeah, 12 keep going. Okay. Uh, verse 10, it says, uh, so, uh, verse uh, 9, it's finishing off, it says, With which drown men in destruction and perdition. Mm. Damn. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which, which while some covered after, yeah. 
they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah, because yeah, look, wisdom is a defense and, and money is a defense. Which one you going you gonna take, uh, man? Mm -hmm. Hey, you, the Lord's gonna supply the money for you if you're really sincere and believe in Him. He gonna He gonna supply that money for to be a defense. But are you gonna uh, 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 indulge in it? You gonna chase after? You gonna cover it after it? Because that's gonna put you in the worst case scenario, man. Like Billy just read. Read that again from the yeah, top. Verse ten. Kind of, uh, First Timothy chapter six verse ten. It says, "For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, kind they have." And who's that some? When you look at it in, in today's times, that's everybody outside of this truth. Yep. Everybody is, is coming in after money. Everything that they do is geared towards making more money. And yeah. I believe one of the apostles was talking about this. Um, that you 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 wake up thinking about money. You you. you, you how are you gonna make money? How are you gonna no, pay the bills? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. You know, how you, you know, that's all these people think about, man. Is is making money and, and, and to pay this and pay it's that. It's all about the Benjamins, yeah. you know, the dollar dollar bill, yo. <laughs> you know? That's the mindset of, 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 of the people of the earth, man. They need money. You know, they which you, obviously you need money to get by, but they, they they live their lives to get money, man. Their lives revolve around getting money. Yep. You you like the, the I forget. I, I think it, I'm almost certain it was Apostle Ramla. Who, who was speaking on this, but um, he, he was saying, you know, you wake up, you wake up in the morning, you work an eight-hour shift, making money, you sleep then, for ten. Then we, oh, yeah, was a, then, uh, uh, you come home, you take a shit. Yeah, that was a brother from Dallas. <laughs> kind, yeah, 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 from yeah, Dallas. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the elder uh, yeah. Ariala yeah. and uh, the 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 brother out there in London. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. You, you you come home and the only time you really got to think about anything the is the time you on the, <laughs> when you on the toilet, <laughs> you know. But the rest of the time, these people are just nothing but preoccupied and in, in worrying about and coveting after money, chasing the dollar, you know. Yeah. And this is where is this is why it says, uh, "Finish that precept up." Kind. It says, "For the love of money is the root of all evil, mm -hmm. which while some covet after." They have erred from the faith. Right, so going back to the beginning mm -hmm. of that preacher, it said, For the love of money is the root of all evil. For while some have covered after, they have erred from the faith. Because that's the start of it, man. Coveting after that money is the start of all that wickedness, man. Leading Ooh. you away from the faith. Because as you start to covet money and you, you start to go after that. You do whatever. You do whatever yeah. it takes. That's to why get I said it's, it's, it's the root. Mm -hmm. It's the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Of all evil, man. Cause you, man, and you know we come from the world. We've seen these things, so we can tell you about it, yeah. man. We we've seen niggas do all kind of. We you know been part of that wickedness, yeah. man. We've for seen what niggas are the extremes niggas will go to for some dollar bills, man. Yeah. For some paper with the enemy's face on it, man. Uh -huh. We've seen what pe our people will go to, man. Cause the hell with everybody else in the world, man. You know they can whatever they can do whatever, but our people will go above and beyond to go get a hundred dollars, man. You'll be ready to kill somebody over a hundred dollars, man. A one, uh, you'll be, over you won't kill, you, you, you check this out. You won't kill somebody over a one dollar bill, which is one piece of paper, right? But you'll kill somebody over a hundred dollar bill, which is one piece of paper. That don't, that's that's the bro. The root of all evil is the love of money, man. That's, that's how crazy money. that is. Hey, because that's why Proverbs thirty says, "Move from me far, uh, move far from me, vanity." You know, it says, uh, "Give me neither poverty nor riches, mm -hmm. least I, uh, least I be full and deny thee." Mm -hmm. You know, because once you come into money, you come into like scripture say, diverse temptations. You want to do this, you want to do that, do this, God. and you're not thinking about Yah Bashmi no shine. And what is one of the things that Jake uh, do all the time when he uh, gets money? He sell out, man. Flossing out, yeah, yeah. yeah. Out. Can't sell out. Out. Except us, uh, he sacrifices his kids. God, that's nope. the, that's the ultimate level right there. These these, uh, these, right. these uh, higher up actors yeah, and, and mm -hmm. rappers and shit. That's that's the ultimate level of of, of coveting after yeah. this money. Because yeah. you want more and more. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a drug. You, yeah, yeah it's, there you go. It's a, it's a drug, man. You start fiending for it, man. Yeah. But go ahead. Uh, verse finishing off verse ten. It says. They have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And you got you got men in this truth that have come, heard of the truth, and then they got they got they got a taste of that money and started covenant after it, man. Go ahead, verse eleven. But thou, O, o man of God, O man of the Most High, flee from flee these things and follow after righteousness, which is what storing up the treasures in heaven. Yes. Yes. You know, because that's that's the real treasure. You know the, the real uh, like, riches. Like the, 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 I, I, believe, I think you have it in Proverbs sixteen, sixteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got that 
I got it right here. I mean, I don't have to get it. This is, a, this is a Proverbs 16, verse 16. And it reads, How much how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? Come on, and it, it's not gold one of the most precious and expensive metals on the planet Earth? Yeah. Ounce is over $1,000. Shit. You know, I think there's another scripture too where it talks it. About, the, about the rubies. Uh, oh, spirit, I got it right here. This is, a, uh, this is Proverbs 8 and 11. For wisdom is better than rubies yeah, yeah. and all the things that may be desired. Mm, all yeah. the things that we may, may be desired. What's, what's, what does what is, what is Jake desire after? They want be, money, cars, to, clothes, and the hose. Yeah. <laughs> all that. Now. Hey, like Scarface said, first you get the money, yeah, yeah. then you get the power, power then, then you, you get, get the women. women. Yeah. And, yeah. So all, and so let me read this again. Yeah. Let me finish the, the whole verse. So. It says, for wisdom is better than rubies, mm -hmm. and rubies are precious things. I mean, rubies, you, you don't just find rubies everywhere you go, all right? Yeah. It says, precious uh, stones. yep, rubies, and all the things that may be desired mm -hmm. are not to be compared to it. Uh, hey, real quick, this song is called ICBM. Well, the one that was just talking about. But hey, man, this wisdom, man, this is why the Most High was so pleased and what uh, King Solomon asked for. Yeah. He asked for wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, that's why the Lord was pleased because he could what he could he could have asked for anything that is yeah. that he desired. But he he he, he rather yeah. yeah. Uh, Cause William Solomon six it says therefore desire wisdom come yeah. uh, bring it to you a did, kingdom. Yeah, you know did. so with the yeah. with a, a, a righteous kingdom established you can have any manner of ruby yep. gold that's yep. what it comes with. Yep. And that's why in that that same video that the the elder Ariala and the the brother Rokai Kwan out there in in London did. They spoke about this, that this time around, because the Lord gave us the laws. That was the first thing that he gave us, which is where wisdom lies in. The laws, statutes, and commandments. And then he said that if you follow these things, you will get the kingdom. That's why this go around on, the, uh, on, on this last captivity that we have to go to, what was the first thing that the Lord gave us? It was this wisdom. Because it, through this wisdom is how you get the kingdom, man. Go ahead, to, yeah. hey, Salaki, real quick, because that's exactly that does exactly how King Solomon got it. He asked first for the wisdom, he received that first, and then he got the kingdom. I got, he it got right everything here. else. I got the count right here. Count, this, and first King count. Yeah, first King Kings, chapter quick. three, and I'm gonna start it. Um, I'll start it. Uh, I'll get straight to the points. Verse seven, and now, O Yahweh, my power, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people. And, hey, and real quick, I want to make a point because he said, "I am, I am uh, as a child, right? But do we not when we come into this thing? Are we not be born we, again? Yeah, are we not coming into this as a child? That's why you always like said uh, to his disciples. He said, "Suffer this child to come unto me." Mm -hmm. You know, because that's how you got to come in <laughs> into this truth, man. As a child, you got. And, and King Solomon acknowledged that. Yeah, he, that he, he was a child. Yeah, yeah. Yep. In verse 8, uh, 1 Kings 3 and 8, And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered, nor nor, nor counted for multitude. That's a precept to Hosea 1 and 10. Mm -hmm. Verse 9, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad, for who is able to judge this, so like, and for who is able to judge this, thy so great a people. And the speech pleased Yahweh that Solomon had asked these things. And, Yah and the Most High said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy word. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before, before thee, Neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. Exactly, man. And that's why, because, you know, for those that have ears to hear, that's your house shy. That's why to get to that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you have to go through your house shy, man. Because he, he asked for it, man. And the Lord gave it to him. So to get that wisdom, to get that knowledge, to be able to obtain onto the treasures, to, to the real treasures, you have to go through your house shy, man. To receive the, of these things, man. You have to believe that he is. 
to even comprehend what, what, what you're reading, man. Because you can pick up this book and flip through it front to back, precept upon precept. But if you don't have no wisdom to go with it, what, what was the purpose? Yeah. You know? What's what's the purpose? But well, go ahead and get your piece of it. I got you. Oh, you can speak on this too, bro. Uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse uh, 17. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. And hey, as the spirit, it says the word discipline, uh, nurture, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's why the scripture is saying, uh, I think, uh, 1 Peter 2, this, uh, desire the sincere milk that you yep. may grow. So the only way you can grow in this truth is by being disciplined, man. And the word discipline is where you get the word disciple from, which is a student or a follower of yep. Amashiach, man. And that what and what does that ultimately represent? Order. Yep. And that's what the Heavenly Father is doing. He's uh, 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 setting up lively stones and putting them in order, brick to brick. And it, what this is the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, uh, uh, spiritually before it be manifested fi uh, physically. Okay, we got eight minutes. All right. Yeah, I get right to the point. Uh, wisdom of Solomon uh, six verse. Uh, 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. And they desire, hey, that's what the elect is seeking after, man. The desire of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Yeah. We looking after, we seeking after Sophia as our Lord did, man. King Solomon. It told you what he asked the Lord for, and it pleased the Lord. Yeah. Hey, and and, and then, read that again real Con, quick, though, about the kingdom. Con, this is our wisdom of Solomon uh, 6, verse 20. It says, Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. The desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom, man. So you niggas, you niggas out there in this world, you you wonder why you go your whole life seeking after riches, but you you feel like you 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 never attained it. Mm, kind of like Bow Wow, what he said. He kind said of, I, I traveled the world, went around the world three, four times. I didn't have so many women. He said, still I not still, fulfilled. Yeah, he said, I feel empty though, man. Why is that? Because they <laughs> did, they weren't seeking well, after wisdom, man. They weren't obtaining. Well, that wisdom of the scriptures because yeah, yeah. this is what's going to give you the, the riches. This is what's going to complete you, man. Eternal life. Yeah. This is what makes you whole, man. Mm -hmm. it, it is this wisdom because it's leading towards the kingdom, man. That's you know? Right. That's right, bro. I got a quick preset. Yeah. Real yeah. quick. Because um, we're talking about wisdom, right? This is Psalms 11 and 10. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. Ooh. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise endureth forever. You know, so hey, if you want that wisdom, the beginning of it is the fury how much my side. Like the brother just used the example of Bawa. That nigga don't fear the most high. You know. That's why he feel, that's why his life is 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 empty. shambles, yeah. yeah. That's why these niggas end up dying. They end up killing themselves because they can't stand up. They can't stand living this life uh like uh, Bob Martin said, the rat race. Yeah. Oh, the rat race. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You just feel like you're just going and going, and, and you're yeah, not going hand, nowhere. Hamster on the wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hamster on the wheel. Like, yeah. you're, just, you're not going nowhere. Yeah. But in this truth, you're going somewhere. Yeah, man. that's right. We're all constantly when you, up. Yeah, if you <laughs> seek after wisdom, man, you, you, you're you going somewhere, yeah, man. Right. You, you building, you building a, a foundation... Upon where the kingdom is being built upon, yeah, and the Lord is showing us, man, because we constantly getting elevated, man. Yeah, you have to have the eyes to see what is what the scriptures say. Uh, uh, to them, it's not given, yeah, but to you, it's given. The mysteries, mysteries of the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, man. That's the mystery. We, yeah, and and then yeah, you know we we constantly getting we constantly growing. All right, we constantly getting the W's. You know, right. while you people are taking big L's, man. Right. You know, you can look at us and say, oh, "You guys are losers and this and that," but. You don't understand that the Lord's giving us increase in the spirit every day, man. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because that's what we're seeking after, man. We're not, you know, brothers will get bones thrown to them, you know, monetary or women, whatever. But our main focus is this truth and the increase in it. Our increase in faith. And we do every day, man, through prayer, all right, and through belief. Go ahead. Come. Uh, verse 21. If your delight be in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom. That ye may reign forevermore. Yeah, and that's what we want to do. We want to reign forevermore with Yahweh Shai, man. All right, under Yahweh. So what? <clears throat> we, we are, are focused on wisdom. So that we can receive those things, man. So we can be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. And, and, and like the brother said earlier, to bring it all back to full circle, this is what you, uh, this is the giving up of this world, man. To lay up the treasures in, uh, in the heavens, man. I got something real quick. Uh, in First Timothy, he's going back to First Timothy 6. I'm going to get right to the point. 19. Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. 
Center. A good foundation. That's right. That's right. And what's that foundation? You have a shy, man. Right. Rock solid. You have a shy is that foundation. That's right. Yep. Chief cornerstone. It says that they may lay hold on eternal life. So we're laying up this treasure not only for the day to come, but we're laying hold on eternal life, man. Because you're going to have certain things and certain scenarios come where the, the Heavenly Father is going to get His glory, and we're going to get He's going to glorify us by the wisdom that we have when when our people start coming up to us in the times we're coming into, man. Just so like He glorified King Solomon, man. Right. People were bamboozled by the knowledge that man had, which yes. is Yahweh Shai, man. Nobody could. Everybody was coming to, to just to hear him, man. And just to see if, it, and that, and and what that was a that was a, a um that was a uh um pretty much like a, um what's the word a precursor so to say of the kingdom of heaven. You read about King Solomon's kingdom, man. It was beautiful. People were coming to get his knowledge and to see how beautiful his kingdom was, man. You know his, his servants, his doorkeepers, his cupbearers. They was all on point, man. They was all looking beautiful. But what it, it came through that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So how much greater is the kingdom of heaven going to be? God. I have not seen, ear have not heard. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We just, we many Solomons, man. We first, we desire uh, discipline. We desire the wisdom. That's the first thing we ask for. Why would Kusai have some side increase? You know, give me an we're, increase. We're, we're joint heirs. That's yeah. right. You know, so we're going to seek, we're going to be seeking after the, the same things exactly. as, as Yahweh Shai. Exactly. Yeah, we, we, so we can put on this. Okay. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, mm. but at the things which are not seen. Mm. See, and, and the things of this world, it, it, it's what's it's what's seen. That's why Yahweh Shai said we are not of this world, man. Because we're not seeking after the things that you can see. Just like we're 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 we're, uh, we're seeking for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because we, we don't see them, but we're seeking after them. And when Yahweh Shai tell yeah. Thomas, man, that's our day that have not seen and believe. believe yeah. Yeah. That's a blessing, man. Yeah. Uh, continuing for the things which are seen are temporal, mm -hmm. but the things which are not seen are eternal. Mm -hmm. The things of this world passes away, man. Right. They're gonna pass. These things are all gonna get burned up yeah. in a nuclear missile, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, stop. No, no it, it's still you gotta buy a nuclear weapon. But you know, the, hey, that's that's why in this truth, man, it, it, it's it's a it's it's something very precious, man, because. Uh -huh. This is far greater than, than any treasure upon earth, man. You really have to care for this truth, man. All right? You have to care for this truth and really, really want it. Because if not, the Lord's going to take it from you, man. Give it to another person. That's yep. Great. Hey, what your house I say? That man that had that one talent, give, yeah. give, give, him, give, yeah. give him, it to the guy talent. with ten. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, Lord willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. We want to give all the praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak, Radash, the bonus to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, and much blessing and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth. We're diligently pushing out this truth and this truth and sincerity. So with that, I want to say, Shalom, Akim.